This next piece is called Bioshock Redemption by F. Daddy. Bioshock and his sister were sleeping in their cave one day when they heard scary noises. Wake up, Bella, says Bioshock. The bad guys are coming. Bella is tired, but gets up. Bioshock knows that if something bad happens to his sister, he will be sad, very sad. Bioshock picks up Bella and runs. He hears goblins behind him, so he runs fast and digs a hole with his drill. Bioshock knows that there is no escape from these goblins. Just then, Bioshock looks and sees that these goblins are vampires. Why do you want to kill Bella, he says. Because we need her soul to power the vampire generator, the vampire goblins say. You can't have her soul, says Bioshock. She is my sister, and I must protect her. But Bioshock knows there is no escape from them. But then Bioshock hears a voice. He says, hey, that sounds like John McClane. And it was. Bioshock runs to John McClane and says, escape from here with my little sister, Bella. Bioshock says goodbye. He cries and turns back to fight the vampires and dies. John McClane, who is really Bilbo Baggins, and Bella escape the mountain and meet with Gandalf and the dwarves. Gandalf says, you must raise this girl in a cabin in the woods because someday she will have a baby that will save the whole world. Bilbo Baggins takes care of Bella until she is 18 years old, and then Bilbo dies from oldness. So many stories to tell, so little time. These have been the untold stories of Rapture. I'm Ken Levine. Until next time.